I'm Sean Gannon and this is Minute Math and today we're going to learn about multiplying radical expressions. So if I had to simplify this expression, the square root of 6 times the square root of 6. Okay? Well, this one's actually fairly simple. So we have square root of 6 times square root of 6, we can combine that to be in one square root, 6 times 6 right there. And normally we're looking for our pairs, right? We're going to break them down and find our pairs. But I already have a pair here, okay? I have a pair of 6, so 6 times 6, which we know is 36. The square root of 36 is back to be 6. Well, this pair, I see a pair here, a pair of 6's, right? That, those pair of 6's we just can put on the outside, a pair of 6's on the outside of the square root, and then there's nothing left inside the square root. And so we don't put anything, we just leave it. There's nothing there. And so we're, we're done. That's it. That's just 6. You're having a hard time seeing that. You can easily say, okay, square root of 36 is right there, right? 6 times 6 is 36. Square root of 36 is 6. That's how we got that answer as well, okay? That's where we can, we can go towards it, okay? You also, if you really want to <laughs> go a crazy way, six, a square root of 6 times square root of 6 is the same thing as, a little note here, the square root of 6 all squared. Well, the square root and square root cancel each other out, and left with just a 6. So, it really doesn't matter which method you do, you all get to the final answer, and the final answer is a 6. So let's recap. We're given the square root of 6 times square root of 6. Well, I wanted to combine that, so I combined that underneath one square root to be the square root of 6 times 6. Pulled out my pair right there, so 6's are on the outside, boom. Um, nothing left on the inside, so it kind of disappears. Uh, now, you can't take square root of 8, nothing really, nothing left. And so we're left with just a 6 on the outside, well, that's our final answer. There's a few. Mm -hmm. All right. There's a few other methods we kind of did to solve whatever way is easy for you. But either way, our final answer is just a six.